Right, we've been at the uh, beer festival at uh, Pera. Great job, Pete and everybody, the whole team there at the Pera Beer Festival. And uh, I'm making my way back now. After a lovely evening, the amazing Austin brothers were there. Great to see you. <laughs> lots of friends uh, from all over Portugal, actually, who, who gathered here this weekend. And look at this. I'm back at this little aldea. Uh, I think we're, st we're still, we're not turning into a pumpkin just yet. But I want to show you this lovely um, guest house that I'm staying at. And this is not Castanero de Pera. This is, although, look, on here, you'll see on the local well here, you'll see Castanero de Pera, 1956. But this is Casa de Ribera, as you can see from the sign here. But I urge you to come and stay here with the lovely Ruth, who now runs Casa Ribera. And this is where I'm staying for the evening. And I've, I've uh, squirreled my bicycle here so that I can cycle back and pick up my car in the morning, which is how I arrange things. But if I'm quiet for a moment, you'll hear the river. I'm walking down a little leafy lane. Central Portugal is so peaceful, so quiet. There's a, there's a kind of cold night air, mountain air, it feels like alpine air. And just down here, can you hear the river? Truly in the countryside of Portugal. This is the, the heart, the ballast, the spiritual, social, psychological ballast of Portugal, I think. And there's another little, lovely little Casa Ribeira sign there. As I make my way, tottering home after a lovely beer festival. How about that? So I better be quiet and I better sign off. Let's just look up the hill. You can stay here. You can stay here in the middle of nowhere in Portugal. Well, what's this? Is that supplies for breakfast? One of the animal feed. Hopefully, that's not breakfast. Look, just wandering down. Oh, let me show you this. Actually, you've got to see this. Just got my key out of my pocket. Down a dark alleyway. Feel completely safe. Nothing to worry about around here. Maybe wild boar. Are the only problem look casting shadows in this lovely very dark tranquil calm place and uh, coming into the courtyard oh it's a bit too dark do you know what i'll show you the, the pictures in the morning i'm going to go to bed now Right, I'm not sure how um, boozy my uh, little tour sounded last night, but I did say, as I recall, that I would show you the beauty of this lovely place, Casa Ribeira, in the morning. And here we are. The sun is coming up over the other side of the valley there, just under the brolly there. You see the sun breaking through the trees. And here I am, waiting for breakfast in this lovely seating area with the sound of the river in the distance. Well, actually not too far in the distance. It's really, really lovely. And uh, you can see, oh, you can see the swimming pool. Just that uh, light color through there, I believe is the pool. Yeah, you can see the blue of the pool through the bushes. And this amazing tree, I'm not sure what that tree is, but this lovely big pom-poms on it. The planting here at this house is fabulous. And you can see the sunshine dappling the side of the house there. It really is a lovely place to say, Casa Ribeira. I had a lovely peaceful night's sleep and when I turned the lights out last night it was completely dark. Amazing. And here is a look. It's a goldfish tub here. I wonder if the fish are gonna say good morning. Hello chaps. Look, it's so peaceful here. Should we have a little wander down to the swimming pool? I think we should. Okay, let's give a walk down the swimming pool. Come with me. Oh, hello. There's a little path down to the pool, I believe, down here. I've not been here before, down to the bottom here. I've heard it, but I've not, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've not uh, seen it. Look at this. There's some lounges by the pool and a plunge pool here. Isn't that fabulous? Look at this. Look at this valley. It's so Portuguese and so nice. Yes, we're going to have a look. Here over the edge here, 
see what's happening yeah that's a natural waterfall you can hear down there isn't that fab look at that fantastic and then looking along that way along the river and up and over the valley and let's do a sun salute shall we oh there's another one of those pom 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 trees there i don't know what that is but they look rather lovely and yeah the sun's just about to come over the top of the hill as you can see on the trees there and then a quick look back pool and kazari beda up there isn't that lovely very close to Castaneda de Pera. So we've got a little pool here. Oh, I walked past a pom-pom tree. Is that a chestnut? Maybe that is. Those are great big horse chestnuts, possibly. Anyway, yeah, we're near Castaneda de Pera. So if the little pool here is not big enough, uh, June to, I think, uh, August maybe, there's the um, huge lagoon, uh, this wonderful river beach extension into a man-made great big pool with... Um, wave machine and so on i think you can even surf there it's quite an extraordinary part of the country central portugal at its best have a great day